Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Zombieland Saga Revenge episode number two. All right, the previous episode, it was an amazing start. Uh, Tasumi Kotaro was depressed, but by the end of it, he came back to his original form, the Tasumi Kotaro that we love. And, you know, they like, even though they were in debt uh, and like Tasumi Kotaro, like, you know, like became depressed and all, he was able to jump back uh, by the, motiva the motivation of Sakura and uh, also like the master of that bar like he also kind of like kind of motivated him in a way so that was amazing like it like reminded me of the day when like Kotaro like motivated Sakura you know like to you know to come back uh, the way he motivated it, it it was the reverse thing that happened in the previous episode and I think that was brilliant like really well done because it kind of showed that like how Kotaro made Sakura come back to the whole uh, idol thing. Uh, like Sakura was also able to convince him to go back to being the uh, producer. So yeah, and I'm guessing we're going to see like, you know, Tasumi Kotaro and his <laughs> like usual shenanigans from this episode. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> and also the uh, other like Francesh is back, the other uh, girls as well, Yamada, Tai, everyone, like everyone's back. I'm really happy to be like, you know, uh, like to be reacting to this show. This like this show is something completely something else. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this episode. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get started with episode number two of Zombieland uh, Saga Revenge. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. <laughs> Long hair. <laughs> oh yeah, the whole fight happened. <laughs> that was... Oh, so that's why it's called revenge. Okay, okay. What the? Is that Saki's hair? <laughs> Die! Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Oh my god. Like I'm I'm scared that his her her like hands will come off or something while exercising. Oh, Tai is also doing it. Oh my god, her hair. Okay, let's see the opening. Okay. Oh. Wow, okay. Saga of an almost broken radio. Wow! <laughs> this is catchy. This is catchy. Okay, come on. <laughs> oh, Mappa did the animation. Okay. Wow, that was fantastic opening. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. <laughs> miss Miss Four. Oh my God! As always, Kotaro is. <laughs> oh my god here come here it comes <laughs> oh my god, I, I love I love Kotaro. Like Kotaro is just Vulture zombie contact. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you talk about Inari Shrine. Uh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Why true? Who? Oh, why true? Damn, his hair. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Saki also knows him. Okay. Hmm. Oh my god, Saki! <laughs> right now! <laughs> okay. Who are the reporters? Oh yeah, they're, they're saying te television, okay. Television crew. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's there. Oh, he's old. Oh, okay. Um, don't fall. Like, your hair is covering most of your face, so... Damn. Wow. <laughs> Die! <laughs> you a nice job. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> His name, White True, that means White Dragon, isn't it? Wooden Sword. <laughs> okay. Die, come on. <laughs> Captain. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well, freedom. <laughs> 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 
Okay. What? Marriage? Oh. Dickin <laughs> okay. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Time for a nice wrap up, okay. Oh. Oh. Damn. Inner temple. Okay. <laughs> We're free now. Okay. Okay. Well, time to extend. Oh yeah, and the zombies now, they don't feel tired, I'm guessing. Oh, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. Damn. Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, calm down, Saki. All right. <clears throat> All right. Does he do? Okay, he's still doing it. That means. Oh, he's not going to be there for long. Damn, the way he gets in the car. <coughs> I'm amazed that the guy who's driving the car can drive in that way, you know? Like, he should get a raise or something. <laughs> Like, the thing that he's doing is fantastic. Okay. Mm, I don't think that that's quite it. Like, <clears throat> you know, it's like a fascination. Like, you know, the way you are fascinated towards celebrities and all. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't know. Damn, Sakura. Okay. <laughs> Dirty Harry.
Damn. Middle school, okay. <clears throat> Damn. Okay. <clears throat> wow, that's <laughs> Whoa, who is this? Wait, who is this? The new character? Oh, that's Reiko? Oh, I didn't recognize her at, at all. Reiko's that girl, isn't it, from season one? Oh! <laughs> Damn! Oh my god, this guy again. <laughs> Overspeeding! Stop it! Stop them! Yeah, stop them! <laughs> oh, no riding double. Okay, that as well. Okay. <laughs> she completely destroyed the cycle. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> but they don't look lost, wow. <laughs> oh, these guys. We have a, got a hot wind blowing today. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh wow that's a uh... wow <laughs> God, droopy. <laughs> wow. Wait, really? Uh, is that possible? Oh, come on! 
Is that really possible? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so she really took over the radio show? Is, is that easy? Like, no. Oh. Oh, he... <laughs> I'm not the one who needs that passion now. Okay. Um, that's not quite possible. Um... Like thinking about it, they should be closer to the to their age, uh, like to Ryu San's age, isn't it? Like at least like Saki, because she's quite older. <sighs> well. Wow, oh, like... <laughs> okay, your makeup will come off. Okay, yeah, I was thinking... Okay. What? Okay. They made a song out of it. Okay. All right. Are we going to get uh, one song every uh, like week like this, like every episode? That would be great, you know. Oh, they're here. Okay. <laughs> okay, there are a lot of fans now, as, as far as we can see. Wow, Tai is doing pretty well, you know? Yeah, she really took over the... Take your soul in your fist and raise it up.
Wow, okay, that was good. It's... Yeah, that's the end. Okay, I was not expecting, like, you know, like, sudden, such, like, you know, sudden emotional, like, you know, like in the second episode. So, <clears throat> okay, so let's talk about this uh, episode. This was a uh, Saki centric, this was a Saki centric episode. And no, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to get le like episodes like this, which will be like focused towards one, uh, like, you know, one person. Uh, one of the characters uh, in ep either each episode or like they'll I, I don't know like I'm just guessing so maybe in the next week we're going to get uh, like another episode with like someone being focused on so I'm looking forward to it like that because that was how it went in season one as well so we're going to get more into their pasts I'm guessing and like continue the whole idol thing as well so yeah and okay so let's uh, talk about this episode from the beginning now <clears throat> like <laughs> like saki uh, like saki obviously like as as far as we can say like saki is the most knowledgeable about a lot of stuff like in like season one we also saw like uh that whole drive-in tori thing and the gata uh what was it called gata olympics wasn't it yeah that like uh, saki knew about it and um like in this episode as well we see like he also knows about you so about saga like saki knows a lot of things and i'm guessing because she is a lot closer to age you know uh like then she is not now like uh, we saw his uh, her friend i forgot I, i'm forgetting her name and the, her delinquent friend uh who has a child now like uh that girl like uh we, we have seen her now like she is it seems as if she and saki are at least um six to seven years like you know difference but at that time when saki was alive he like she was uh like you know uh like closer to uh, closer to the, the to the to um her age and i cannot properly remember but how many years have they been made in, like at least sakura i cannot remember that how many years like was it 10 years i cannot remember that kotaro zombified sakura i need to check that out again but anyways so yeah as i was saying so that's why like uh saki knows about a lot of things uh in <clears throat> like related to saga and obviously like uh things that are old like not so much old but quite old which sakura obviously i'm guessing did not know about for example uh this uh ryu-san <clears throat> like uh i'm, I'm sure like <clears throat> like we saw like when saki was you know when she was like uh, like uh, you know like um, roaming the streets and all she uh, <coughs> got to know about ryu ryu san from the radio uh, program so at that moment like he was a lot younger but now as we can see he's gotten older and all so yeah but like obviously like he like he was still older than saki at that moment as well but now the like age like you know age difference has gotten larger in uh, because of the whole zombification and all so yeah and okay now <clears throat> that and uh, like they got for, obviously like they got to like uh, <clears throat> do the whole thing with ryu san and the whole uh, like television crew came and all and they were like doing this thing and um, and this then like started going towards the whole like uh, like started centering on saki and her thing and like they were talking about like you know like does does she like him or what like and i thought at that moment i thought that oh maybe not you know like because like he is a cel kind of a celebrity and obviously like uh, there is this thing you know like where people have like likes celebrities like have this kind of little celebrity crushes and all i was thinking like maybe it's something like that you know because like not necessarily like she like liked him like that but you know she had like liked him like it was something like that i was i thought but by the end of it i don't know i, I think i'm mistaken maybe she really did like in that way like him so like when he she started crying and everything like i was not expecting her to start crying because this this is like saki you know so i really was not expecting that so that really came as a like, surprise to me so that's why I'm saying like maybe I was a little bit mistaken maybe she really did like 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 him like like in that way you know <clears throat> so yeah uh, like thinking about it that's like that is pretty 
what can I say, like possible because um, when she was feeling like, you know, like, uh, like depressed and all, like she suddenly heard uh, something in the radio and like it was something that really resonated with her at that moment. And after that, she also found uh, her best friend, uh, like a, a person who would become her best friend. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, and all of those things kind of like, you know, made the impact even more in a way. So, and also the other, another thing that I'm guessing made her cry is like the realization that there are zombies now. Because, you know, when uh, Liu San said that, come back when you are older <laughs> you know the realization set in that we are zombies we, we 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 don't have the future like you know the future that everyone is not guaranteed but everyone has a chance of getting that future we don't have it anymore like we won't age we won't be able to come in front of the whole world in this way uh, you know like live a normal life like nothing like that uh, like can happen we will keep being zombies and keep being idols forever uh, 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 like unless and until like you know this whole thing wears off the whole zombification thing which i think is probably going to happen because in the first episode kotaro kind of like uh, said like hinted that you know when they said that time is running out or something like that i don't know when i what i'll feel about that when that time comes anyways so <clears throat> yeah and um so yeah as i was saying so that thing that like realization struck at that moment and i'm sure like that was also something that made her you know like like kind of opened the dams she started crying go opened her okay, just a sec guys let me just i'm just taking the girl's name what was her name? Um, the like I'm talking about the delinquent girl who is like Saki's friend. <clears throat> Just a sec. Reiko, Reiko. Okay, I forgot her name. All right, uh, Reiko. So like uh, yeah, and also another thing is that when like she also got heard like from the radio show that like just keep looking, you know, like, keep looking. There will be another person who will like resonate with your soul so you'll uh, like meet your best friends uh, like that so that's how like she also <coughs> found uh, Reiko as well so like a lot a lot of things you know a lot of things made an impact on her which uh, which I'm guessing was the reason why she like you know like respected him so much and started liking him so much so yeah and it's sad like you know like <clears throat> the real whole realization that we don't have any future you know the future which everyone is get, supposed to get you know a normal life for example like you know going to school and then like graduating taking a job or whatever like doing something falling in love getting married having kids stuff like this you know everything that is kind of set in stone kind of i'm not talking about like you know i'm not talking about everyone kind of set in stone uh for everyone so everyone has that future probably uh they like saki and the other zombie girls does not have that it's closed off uh in a way like I, like we can kind of say that they got a chance you know a second chance when they became zombified and uh, they would have died obviously they they did they, they were dead like they were dead they were <clears throat> all of them all of them like they died and in a way they got a second chance in life but with a lot of restrictions so yeah like realize the, the real when the realization sets that those restrictions are something that you know you cannot take out of your life anymore it 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 it, it like you know made her emotionally crumble at that moment yeah and yeah this was a good episode um, i have to say like it, it had a like fair balance of like it was fairly balanced the whole comedy portion the whole emotional portion and everything and the thing that Ryu-san said like <laughs> it seemed as if he was like you know like talking weird but 
it had a, a meaning you know a meaning behind it like the whole thing with uh the thing that he said that when he said uh, when saki said that please don't go like you know please don't go because if you go then who will make us like people like us motivated like i like when i was depressed when i was like feeling down um you like your words resonated with my heart and i am what i am now because of that day. there will be a lot of people like that so how will they get motivated if you go away how will they find their spark if you are not there to light that spark so please don't go away but you know uh, and then like um Ryu-san said that no that's that's not that what it is you know uh, <clears throat> i might I, I might be going away but there'll be more people like me there'll be more people like you you know who can motivate them so as as i said like you know passing the baton you know like or is that the right word yeah or like pass like passing the torch i think yeah i think that's that's the word <laughs> <laughs> so like yeah like that was that was what Ryu san said that you guys are here so why don't you do the radio thing and yeah like i was really surprised at like they really like not not Ryu san i was surprised at the other people like the uh, other people who were like doing the whole radio thing you know uh, i'm guessing the uh, like the persons who were in charge of that like them kind of accepting it you know because obviously like uh, but obviously like Lusan suggested them it's kind of like his radio show so if the person himself says that yeah like I, I, I I'm not going to continue this please like you know like hire them and let them do the radio show in my place so if he himself says it so I'm guessing this is not much problem but I was a little bit surprised that they really like you know like <laughs> accepted it so and I was also surprised at another thing is like they are already like involved with the whole idol thing so I was not expecting them to suddenly like take this radio show upon them as well. So in a way, like you know, like it's also like the, like their their main target is not doing idol work. You know, like we, I, I think like most of us forget that their main uh, target is revitalizing Saga. So radio work is also a very good way to do that. You know. So that's why I'm guessing like they took up the whole radio thing as well. Obviously, Saki also uh, like Saki had an another another like you know another motivation because like Yusan is going away. So yeah, and it was a nice nice episode. You know, it was it was kind of like uh, I was not expecting something like you know this kind of um, emotional thing in the second episode. So I, I was quite surprised at that yeah and yeah that was it and i feel sad like in a way because like this is saki we're talking about saki who is as you as you said like she's like the leader of the whole team uh, of fran shushu as well like she's that like you know like that loud person that uh, not loud like loud is a like negative word like that like enthusiastic um charismatic and what can i say that the, the person who has like this kind of leadership qualities that type of a person of the whole group and her voice is like the thing that i'm sure motivates a lot of the other francis members as well because she's so upbeat so positive so confidence filled so her suddenly like breaking love, uh, down like that was something that is quite a big deal you know <laughs> and like uh, seeing her cry like sakura also started crying yeah so yeah guys that's it that was this episode um this was uh, episode number two of uh zombie land saga so yeah like <laughs> um that was good i have to say like uh, i was not expecting something like this in the second episode but I was, I was thinking like they're going to probably like keep the emotional you know episodes uh, for the later half of this season but like the second episode already had some kind of a, a, like emotional thing like that because Sombil and Saga like did this you know in the previous season as well the whole thing with Lily's story and Saki's story was also sad like you know and uh, the whole like Sakura getting her <clears throat> memory back and all like, there were a lot of like uh, emotional kind of like episodes but those were like kind of in the second half 
So I was not expecting like something like this in the second episode, but it was good. You know, they like in the first half of this episode was kind of funny and comedic, and we were all like laughing with Ryu San, laughing uh, like you know the things that he was doing, his whole like hairstyle and everything. Uh, and all like and saki kind of like you know getting uh, like you know uh, motivated at those kind of like the words that he was saying like the wind is blowing today <laughs> you know what this reminded me of the whole <laughs> like the wind is blowing today uh, something the wind is rough today or something like that this reminded me of the daily life of high school boys oh my god <laughs> I won't forget the whole literature. If you guys have seen it, you guys can understand what I'm talking about. The whole literature girl, girl episodes, like the whole thing with <laughs> that was like fantastic. I I would probably never forget that. So <laughs> like him suddenly saying stuff like that reminded me of that. You know, the whole like the wind is flowing today. The wind is crying. The wind is like you know like harsh today. <laughs> something like that but yeah like we were kind of laughing and everything in the first half of the episode and then when the second half like sets in we understand what like you know Ryusan actually is trying to do what like you know what like the like, what can I say like uh, the things that he was saying uh, looked kind of like you know it, it sounded kind of funny but the other things that he was saying were quite you know thought-provoking and we see like we get to understand that he he's the person who kept going kept uh, like motivating a lot of people throughout the, his radio show uh, and a lot of people i'm guessing a lot of people like saki as well you know? like, not only saki there must be a lot of people who like listened to him talk and got motivated and did something in their life after that so yeah it, it was a shame he had to go away but you know like as he said like the youth will take my position and they'll motivate the upcoming youth now as you know like time goes on you know, and and another thing i <laughs> i have to say is like the guy who is like driving his car he needs a raise because <laughs> the way he can like drive the car with him sitting in front and his hair kind of like wobbling around <laughs> <laughs> that guy needs a raise so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching so this was zombie land saga episode number two uh zombie land saga revenge episode number two so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll definitely be checking them all out so yeah guys i'll be back with another episode of zombie land saga revenge next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day